Hey there, how's it going? I am on my way home from picking up some inventory for my eBay business, and I thought I'd stop off at a creek that I've fished once before and see if we can't find any smileys today. Uh, I will say that just walking in, I've seen more crayfish in a short section of creek than I've ever seen before. I hadn't planned to fish anything crayfish-like. We'll see how the day goes. Basically, my plan was fish the whopper plopper a little bit. Because, you know, fish are starting to get aggressive and they they may be willing to hit the whopper plopper right now. Ooh. In fact, I had a hit right off the bat there. Wasn't even ready for it. So that's a good sign. If I cast back in there, it's got a little twisted up. That's probably why I missed him. So anyway, like I said, my, my plan was I'm going to fish the whopper plopper first and then Well, they're they're hitting at the whopper plopper this could be fun what I don't know is if those are big fish or small fish or what have you there's a drop-off sort of rock ledge over here I'm basically trying to fish the front of that first before I get up there just in case there's anybody hanging out close oh like like that fish right there. There was somebody. We're gonna try that a few more times. He swirled on it. I wasn't 100% paying attention. I mean, I guess we're trying to trying to get the whoppers first, right? Get the big fish. At least get the aggressive big fish. But I tell you what, they're hitting the top water. And the fact that they're swiping at this also means that they're not just keyed in on crayfish. There we go. First one, he's a small one, as expected. That one actually got a hold of it. see anybody with him but there we go got our first smallie come here let go so I think he's already oh, man. he's got the second hook in his side that didn't make him happy here we go fish number one as expected nice and fat and it was a little smallie Man, oh, he came up and crushed it. Somehow didn't get a hook in his mouth. It's another small one. I got up into the branches there. Another little guy, oh, he came off. Daggummit. I gotta tell you what, the, uh, my casting is a little off with the Aldebaran. It really does cast really nice, and I am casting a little long quite often. I tell you what, even though the hookup has been really low because there's so many little guys in here, um, it's still fun to see them hit it. Like I said, we'll come back through with the Helgramite and we'll see if we can't catch a bunch of them on the way back. I sort of look at top water as like, well, are the fish aggressively feeding? You know, they're fun to catch on top water, but the way I look at it is, is if I throw whopper plopper or uh, any kind of popper top water bait and they're hitting it, it's usually a good sign. Oh, that's, that's a better fish. That's a little bit better fish. 
he hit it, I waited, popped it one time, then he came back and got it. This guy's not a giant, I don't think, but... Nice little creek spot. Ooh, and there was a bigger one following. There was a bigger one following. Ooh. This could be a really good hole. That's not a bad fish. Let's see if I can get him without getting the trebles. Solid fish, that's for sure. The ones that have got it have gotten stuck. Just gonna leave the pliers open there. Yeah, not huge. Not huge, but he's a mean little fish. That's for sure. Let me go see if we can find his buddy. And that one's able to take it down fairly far. It took a while for that to come back up. He never really had it. And I'm already starting to think about, like, what do I throw on the way back? Do I go straight to the Helgramite or do I try a stick bait? Hey, that was a fun start. Um, kind of hope the camera was running for the second one because I went to go turn the camera off and it was already off. But uh, so I caught two uh, and all kinds of action. I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to go to the um, Helgramite or if I wanted to go to like a stick bait, like the Yum Dinger Senko. Um, I have the Bass Pro Shops version that I want to try. I think I'm just going to jump straight to that. There, I'm, I want. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of small fish, so I'm going to go with the bigger bait first. See if I can pull out the bigger fish, and then maybe, uh, depending on time and how well that works, maybe I'll circle back around to the Helgramite. Yeah, that's a pretty decent sized paw print. I don't think that's a raccoon, is it? I don't think so. I mean, look how big that is. And there's my foot. I wonder what that is. Maybe coyote. I'll tell you what, this thing has pretty nice action. I will say that. It like sort of shimmies in the water. And... Yeah, you know, so I'm actually kind of curious whether whether the fish shut off after I came through with the boy, that's a big difference in casting. Came through with the top water, or whether they just really didn't like that. Uh, that stick bait. So now I'm just going to throw the Helgramite out there. This is the Bass Pro Helgramite. I'm sort of curious to see how it might do. Because yeah, it, it really hasn't been long since I came through with the with the top water, with the Whopper Plopper. And then I Sort of work the area with the stick bait, and I had zero interest. So I'm kind of wondering if I somehow managed to completely spook them with the whopper plopper. Initially, I was going to go up and just fish, fish the first section, and then come back and hit this later. But now I'm just curious to see see if I can get a bite on this when the stick bait didn't work at all. Oh, there was something else. There we go. little rock bass tiny little rock bass good job getting that in your mouth buddy tell you what though nothing really crushing it not like not like i would hope based on how they were hitting the uh the top water I thought it might be game one today. You know, I saw a little fish falling in there. 
don't know what it was. I'm definitely getting hits on this though. Where is it? Oh, well, those are all tadpoles. I said the stick bait. It's pretty much nothing. Now, I really thought based on the on the way we started off with on the top water that uh, you know, we we're going to be in for a little bit of a rodeo here, just lining them up. I see a smallie. I think it's a smallie. Could be a largemouth. He's definitely cruising. Which again makes me wonder if I shouldn't be throwing something that moves. Okay, I've got an old beat up Kitek swim bait in there. It was in my hook box. Just out of curiosity. I think it's probably been in there since May. I don't want to see if it's... They want something swimming? Or did they really want the top water? The fish that I've seen have not been stationary. Yep, they're after moving baits. They're after moving baits for sure. They're a little guy. Okay, fish number three. See how long this Kitek can last. I think I was moving that one a little faster too. I tell you what, this little guy hit it hard and took off. Oh, it's a rock bass. I was thinking, man, something just nailed it. Second rock bass of the day. I mean, in some ways, it's pretty fun when they're hitting moving baits where you can chuck it out there, reel it back in. That's why I really need to get into crankbaits. Since I only have one sort of beat up Kitek swim bait. Here I come back down here to this hole where I know there's at least one more good fish. Because he followed in the other decent smallie that I caught today. Uh, I just had to go back to the whopper plopper and give it a couple more tries just to see. That's funny, I saw him come up and start looking at it. And he was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, there's a little guy. Well, hey, you know, it's always fun to, to stop and catch a few fish on the on the way home from, uh, from a little bit of business, right? You know, t I was thinking about it. Today's video actually, man, my hat is, my hat's always messed up. But uh, today's video, I, I really owe a lot of thanks to two other YouTubers you know, for, for all the fish that I caught today and, and where I'm fishing. Matt from Indie Yak Angler, you know, obviously, I mean, he's, you know, what, 250,000 followers or something like that, maybe more. Um, you know, a lot of people on YouTube that watch fishing, they know him. You know, I first learned about the Whopper Plopper and the Kitek swim bait from his channel a couple years ago, and that's pretty much what I caught everything on today. And then the spot that I'm fishing, you know, I, I learned about this when I went fishing with Joe from Random Fishing. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it's always great to to try some new baits and go to some new spots, but it's a lot of fun to use some of the old favorites too. So, didn't quite work out as I planned. I got out. It's, again, it's a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I go fishing on Wednesdays a lot, don't I? 
Uh, it's a Wednesday afternoon. I'm fishing. So much better than being at work. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay. Made it through this little briar jaggy bush. Don't think there's anything in there, but. Give it a go. Well, there was something in there. How about that? I don't know if we'll get another shot at it. Or if there's more than one. <laughs>